feeling so guilty of neglecting the importance of an evening routine, but incorporating simple and realistic steps has transformed how I end my day and set myself up for success the next day. It's so crucial to practice a bit of self-care each evening and find what works for you and create your own routine that helps you to unwind and prepare for a restful night. Tidying up your space before bed can make such a huge difference. Spend just 30 minutes picking up and cleaning your surroundings so you can start the next day in a fresh, organized environment. You can listen to a podcast or maybe even watch a show while you clean. This small effort will make your future self so grateful, trust me that. Even though we are often tired after work, but just doing at least 40 minutes to preparing a nutritious dinner and packing a quick lunch for the next day completely change the game. Taking care of your meals ensures you will feel good and have something to look forward to. Cook something delicious to end your day and a positive note. Hey guys, uh, we finished dinner, so I'm just gonna start preparing my tea and I'm gonna shower soon, but I'm just gonna show you my tea that, that my tea that helped me to go to bed and it's good for my gut health. So I'm gonna add some ginger, um, just one teaspoon of apple cider, just like this. I have this normally in the morning I have this normally in the morning at, at night. Just really help me with digestion. And then I'm just gonna add some really hot water. To this, I'm going to add some herbal herbal tea. And it's really hot right now, so while this cold down a little bit, I'm gonna go shower and talk to you in a bit. It's so important to sign out your home that it's time to unwind. Don't underestimate the power of a mood lighting, create a cozy to help your body relax and prepare for sleep. Hey guys, uh, before going to sleep, I really like to end my night with some gratitude and just to check in with my goals. This is my night routine that I have every single night that definitely helped me with stay on track with my goals but more important to stay in a state of gratitude more than often we feel stressed because we want to get somewhere accomplish a lot of things and I feel that in order to actually manifest things in our life we have to be very grateful for what we currently have so we can stay in a high vibration state. Have you ever met someone who is just really happy, really froy and just happy and in love with life? And it seems like everything just work out, work out perfectly for them. I am a big believer that those type of people, those type of people are like that way because they are just very grateful for what they have and it does require to put some work in order to us to keep into to keep ourselves into that state so here's what i like to do i have my journal this is a type of journal that is just free for you to write it's literally a notebook i like to call it my journal and what i do here i personally like this type of journal is just a little bit more. I still have my gratitude journal, the one that asks you like, what are you grateful for today? You know, that type of journal. But for me personally, uh, to end my night and to start my day, I like to write on this one. So I just have more free speech and I can just write as much as I want. My type of journaling at night is that I start writing and being grateful for my day of, for my, for tomorrow. You know, like I'm manifesting how tomorrow is going to feel. For example, I start, today was such a good day. I wake up earlier. I went for my morning walk. I feel so much energy. And I just start writing my emotions, my feelings, what I accomplished on that day, you know? So when I write it, I when I'm writing that, I start feeling the emotion and I, and I get excited about tomorrow. I get excited to wake up tomorrow. I'm like, wow, it's actually so easy to wake up early. So that type of journaling, that is what I do here. Good morning. 
I'm going to make my morning tea. Uh, so I just add some lemon and then I'm going to add some ginger. I'm gonna add some apple vinegar. My class is going to start in 20 minutes. I just, I'm preparing the room. I'm just getting ready for it. It's going to be a really, really hot class. I teach hot math Pilates class. I will show you later how we finish when we end the class. Hi. Morning. Good morning, good morning. Are we early? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Hello, you guys. So I finished to teach my class. I'm just gonna quickly do my skincare to get a get going with my day. Um, today class was really fun and definitely I wanted to tell you it was really fun, it got really sweaty so I like to wash my face after working out so I feel like I will not break up but um, um, but yeah definitely um, I was telling you early that about like waking up and creating your routine and everything it's definitely something that it takes time to build but it's something so worth it because once you are in the other side you will realize how like all the benefits that you get first of all you have more time for yourself i remember when i was working on my nine to five in the beginning i used to feel super stressed because i didn't really have time for myself to do my journal in the morning, go for a walk, you know, like all these activities that I really like to do before getting into work. So I start waking up early and that was like maybe two years ago or something like that. And I just love it. I feel like I completely, completely maximize my time. I give myself the time to prepare for the day and the most important that I am working on myself. And I think it's definitely something that we are often very busy with a lot of things. We tend to take care of others. We tend to be for others. And that is good. That is good to, it's a good thing to do. But if you are not putting the love for yourself first thing in the morning, how you're planning to be to others. So it's just something to like definitely keep in mind. And as well, um, I remember that in the beginning, some things they didn't really work out for me. Um, for me personally, when I wake up, I like to shower right away. And that is something that I feel that if I don't shower right away, I will not feel, like it will not, I will not feel very awake. So that is something that I really do right in the morning. I quickly, quickly go shower, wear my alarm rings. I'm like, oh, okay, let's get out of the bed. I go to shower. And I just literally, when I'm on bed and I, I hear my alarm, and I hear my alarm, I count one, two, three, get off of bed. And definitely that helps a lot to just get myself going. Go to sh go shower and immediately I make my tea, drink, whatever I'm having that day. Uh, right now, um, I've been drinking a lot, so my lemon tea with some um, apple vinegar just to help my my uh, my gut health and I feel it's definitely some benefits but I think you just really have to find what it works for you uh, as well I like working out in the morning is my top priority and that is one of the reasons I love my job because I'm literally working out and then I get not pay for it so that is so good so um so I go shower as fast as I can, then I need movement in the morning. I feel that movement in the morning is as well really important, but as well, I know some people, I have some friends cannot work out in the morning because if they work out in the morning, in the middle of the day, they just feel really tired. As well, I really believe that if you tell yourself that you cannot work out in the morning because you feel tired, 
you are going to continuously manifest that. So you definitely, if you actually want to change that, you need to change your mindset. You have to be like, I wake up in the morning and I feel so much energy. I wake up in the morning, when I work out in the morning, I feel my best, I feel strong, whatever it is, if it's something that you want to accomplish, because uh, I don't know, maybe after work, you don't really feel like working out or doing things. So it's definitely, everything comes to your mindset and everything comes to the world of what you can do. Um, that is super important, especially when we are talking of creating new habits for a healthier and happier version of you. It's so important to be very, very mindful of why you are telling yourself the stories that you are continuously telling yourself. If you are telling yourself, I am, I cannot wake up early, like, start catching what you're telling your friends, what you tell yourself. If you're talking with someone and someone is like, oh, I love working out in the morning, and then you first, you are telling them back, like, I hate working out in the morning because I cannot work out in the morning because I'm not a morning person. Well, because you're telling yourself that, your subconscious mind hear that, and then it's like, oh, we are not a morning person, so I'm not even going to try. So start by changing your words that you're telling yourself. I remember when I started to want it, when I wanted to start waking up early, I completely changed my mindset and my words and what I'm, the stories that I'm telling to myself. I stopped telling myself that I, it's so difficult to wake up. Instead, I was like, I love waking up in the morning. I feel so productive. I feel with lots of energy and I can accomplish so many things. I definitely love waking up in the morning. You know, things, little things like that, they really make a chain. And in the same, they really, really um, make the difference. Yeah, I just wanna chat with you about that. I need to keep going. I need to go to a coffee shop. I just quickly did my skincare makeup, just very natural because I'm going to start, I will teach two more classes later today. So I just don't want my face to be very heavy and I wanted my face to I want my skin to breathe so I'm just keeping it a bit natural but yeah that was really all I really hope this was helpful for you and it gives you some motivation to start waking up early and really become the healthier and happier version of yourself thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye